This is the Arduino Uno after we uploaded the first sketch into it, Blink. And today we're going to learn how to do exactly that. Upload your first sketch into your new Arduino Uno. In order to start with Arduino, we will need the Arduino IDE. This is what allows you to write code and upload it to the board. Um, you go to arduino.cc, it's the official Arduino website. You can find a lot of it, really important information here, but today we are here for the software. So go to software and downloads, and then scroll down to the download the Arduino IDE. Um, if you're using Windows, use the installer. If you're using Mac, use this installer. One important thing, please use the installer and not the zip. And the main reason for that is that the installer will install the drivers for the board as well, that will save you time later on. So click on it and you can choose to donate or you can choose to just download. When you finish installing the ID, double click the icon and open it. As you can see, you will get a basic sketch. This is what needs to be there for a sketch to be valid in Arduino. We'll go over it in a later tutorial, but this is how it looks like. Now let's take care of the board itself. Plug your Arduino into a USB cable. As you can see, the green light here is on, that means the board's getting power. One important thing, please make sure that the cable you're using is a data cable as well and it's not just power. The reason for that, if it will be just power, the light will turn on but there will be no data transfer going on here and therefore you won't be able to communicate with your board. Once the board is plugged in and your computer has finished installing the driver for it, when you go to Tools, and port, you should see a port here, a number, and what it says. For, for me, it's an Arduino Uno. In some of the cases, you will only see a COM port, and the reason for that is a different type of um, UART to USB chip. I'm not going to get into that, but as long as you're seeing a COM here, that's fine. If you want to make sure that it's actually your Arduino, do the following things. Close this menu for a second. Unplug your Uno from the USB and go to tools again as you can see the port has disappeared. I'm going to plug it back in and then go to tools and you can see the port is here. Now the next thing we need to make sure is that that port is selected and then go to boards and make sure you are choosing Arduino Uno. Those two things are the usually things that makes people confused and they don't choose the right board or they don't choose the right port and are unable to upload their first sketch or any sketch in that sense. Now let's get now let's get. There's two options to get example in the ID. You can go to file, examples, and let's take the basic and blink. The other option is this error here, which will give you basic and blink. It opens in a different window, so let me drag it back in and let's go over it really briefly. So this is the blink sketch. As you can see, whatever here is in gray, starting with this slash asterisk, and finishing with this asterisk and slash is are just comments that are written by the person who wrote this code. Now let's concentrate on the code itself. Setup. Setup will open only once when we run the code and what we're doing here is defining whatever is called LED built-in. In our case, in Arduino Uno, the LED built-in is on pin 13 when declaring it as an output, meaning we'll send information to it as an output GPIO. And then we run the loop. And what we do is we set that LED into high, we wait for a thousand milliseconds, which is a second, and then we're turning it low and wait for another thousand milliseconds, which is a second, and basically getting the blink. And now for the fun part, let's upload the code. In order to do that, we can do it in several ways. You can click this button, you can see it says upload, you can go to sketch and do upload here, or use the shortcut, which is control U. For this moment, let's click this button. As you can see, it's compiling the sketch, it's uploading, and it's done uploading. And now let's see the board itself. When you look at the board when you're uploading data, you will notice that TX and RX are blinking. This is because there is a transformation of data between the USB and the board itself via the USB to UART chip that is here. All this information can be found on the web and I've made tutorials on that. So let me show you how the upload looks from the side of the board. So I'm pressing upload and you can see those two LEDs blinking 
and we upload our first code and let 13 is blinking. Now everything I said here is, is correct for other boards. It's correct for the Mega, the Leonardo and all the other Arduino-like boards. They all have a built-in LED that you can run like this with a blink example. So make changes in the code, enjoy it, enjoy your first Arduino and if you like this tutorial please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel.